I went to Magic Mountain this weekend, which is uh, an amusement park. Um, they call it Six Flags Magic Mountain. You don't need the Six Flags part. <laughs> you know, you don't need two names. Magic Mountain is it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me tell you something. In terms of marketing, Magic Mountain. It's hooky, it's catchy, all right? I know showbiz. Magic Mountain. Six flags, who cares about that? How many flags are at your amusement park? <laughs> no one says that. Six, oh, oh. Six out of 10? No, just six, just, it's nowhere, right? So Magic Mountain. The point is, it's definitely more mountain than magic. All right. <laughs> Honestly, spoiler alert, I got some bad news. It's not even 50-50. It's barely magic, 99% mountain. <laughs> it's like cheese on pasta. Here's the magic part. <laughs> Here's the mountain part. <laughs> Stop, no. <laughs> More mountain. All mountain. If you don't believe me, ask my step counter. Because it was like, whee! It was literally like smoking. It was women <laughs> seizing up all the gears in there. Because my pint sized little spindly noodle legs have never dealt with so much trauma. <laughs> I took my 11-year-old kid because I'm trying to be your hero. And, uh, but I also have a bad neck, so she wants to go on all the rides. I'm like, we're here. Can we just look around at the scenery and enjoy life? I can't even get to focus on the rides because I'm looking at the Mount Everest they're sitting on. It looks like an inspirational poster of a mountain and me trying to think about it with the word determination under it, you know? So I get on one ride. I only did one, and it me up, of course, you know? <laughs> It's not a fun little roller coaster. It's like, woo, it's scary. It's literally like, most of them are based on a car crash. You know what I mean? This one's called telephone pole. It's like 100 miles an hour, then wham! Like, stop on a dime, and everyone's like, ugh, ugh. People are walking up crying and calling lawyers. I'm basically slumped in the ride. They have to bring the jaws of life to get me out. You know. The worst part is I bought one of those scammer passes for VIPs, you know? One where you cut in front of the line. And at first, I'm whizzing by people. They're like, hey, they're all excited. Joe Dirt, bench warmers. And then, then you do it twice. They're still in line. They're like, hey, f you, dude. I'm calling the cops. So am I a hero? Who knows?